Joey, what was your reaction when you heard that the club wanted to extend your contract? Yeah, really happy, of course. Um, I'm happy at this club. So, yeah, if you can stay for one more year and I think especially in these times with, with Corona and stuff, then, uh, yeah, that makes you really happy. But apart from that as well, of course. How would you assess your time at Sheffield Wednesday so far? Really nice time. Um, yeah, my first time that I play in a different country and uh, I came from Holland. Uh, it's two and a half years ago already. So, yeah, the time went really quick and and I enjoyed it here on a higher level and, uh, yeah, in a different country with uh, a lot of nice teams that we're playing against. And, yeah, of course, uh, to play for a big club at Sheffield Wednesday, yeah, that's, that's amazing. They've signed for one more year. Uh, do you hope for something a bit more long-term than that? Yeah, of course. Um, you know, for sure, I'm happy that I can stay one more year. But um, if it goes well and uh, the club is still happy with me and uh, the manager as well, and for me the same, yeah, of course, you hope to, to stay longer. But um, yeah, what I said, I think in this time, you have to be happy already with, with one more year extra. And yeah, let's see uh, what the future brings. But uh, yeah, on the moment, I'm really happy. So... Hopefully, it can stay uh, stay long for a long time. What is your impression then of Sheffield Wednesday? Because you've been here for what two and a half years now, isn't it? So, what what have you found about the club and the city and and, and being around here? Yeah, for me, um, what I found the most is like that that the club is really really big. It's a massive club. Um, of course, I knew about Sheffield Wednesday, but not. Um, that the club was as big as it, as it is, you know. And yeah, you find it out if you play uh, home games. The stadium is amazing. A lot of fans are coming all the time, and especially to away games as well. Um, that surprised me because, yeah, in Holland, we are happy if like 500 people are coming to an away game. And here is it like, yeah, 4,000, 5,000. And when it's not much, it's like 2,000 maybe. So that's still a lot. And uh I'm used to it now, but yeah, if, if I think back at it, it's it's unbelievable how big it is. And uh, yeah, that, that, that gives me a nice feeling and that's what you want as a player. So yeah, I really enjoy that. And uh, yeah, that's, that's a nice thing to be here. In terms of the current season, how do you feel about the championship restarting in just two weeks' time on June the 20th? Yeah, I'm excited because uh, we are doing for maybe two months already running at home and this kind of exercises. And uh, uh, th this week we started a little bit more with contact training and yeah, then the football is coming back, if you know what I mean. So uh, yeah, I cannot wait to be honest because uh, yeah, the nicest thing is to play games. So uh, I look forward to it. Yeah. How did you find the lockdown overall and having to work from home and being away from the team? Yeah, strange because you never had it like this, even uh in the holiday you're not um that long at home so um yeah it was a strange time because you don't know what's going to happen and yeah you try to to stay fit to keep yourself fit and um yeah that's the only thing you can do and just wait what's going to happen and sometimes we had a zoom meeting as well with the team and with the manager uh yeah like they try to give us some program and and tell us what's going to happen but nothing was sure and yeah, at least I'm back. We are, uh, I'm happy that we are back in training. There's been a number of positive COVID tests at championship clubs revealed over the last yeah. week, and one of them was at Sheffield Wednesday. How did you react to that news? And do you feel safe returning to training and returning to playing football? Yeah, you, you, you read a lot about all this, all this test, of course. And if someone at your own club is, uh, is positive, then yeah. I think um, my opinion is uh, we have a we have a good protocol at the club and and that's what we are following every day and all the players are doing that and and the staff as well and yet I think that's the only thing you can do we are allowed to train and you have to be careful you have to um, use hand hand gels do all the stuff uh, we are tested every two weeks so um, yeah I think there's not much more we can do but yeah still there's uh, one guy positive so it still says you need to be careful and you need to uh, uh, follow the, the protocol really strict. So, yeah, that's my opinion about it. But it's not that I that I don't feel safe. No, no. Final question from me. There's still a lot of work to do this season, obviously. Because of the situation with the EFL, you've got to get the points, haven't you, when this season restarts to make sure that you don't get potentially dragged into a relegation fight, depending on what the circumstances are with the EFL. Yeah, I think... 
you know, um, what, what we can do by ourselves is we have nine games to go. And in that nine games, we try to, to, to win as, as much as possible. And um, it doesn't matter in what kind of situation you are, we need to do that. Um, uh, because that's the only thing we can control by ourselves. And I think that's the most important thing. And um, that's the only thing we, we can put the focus on, you know. So, yeah, um, of course, in every season, in a lot of clubs, there are always uh, things happening and from outside, and if you know what I mean. But um, I think as a player and a, as a staff and a manager and, and the club, we can only, um, yeah, uh, 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 we can only do what we what we can control, you know. That that's 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 the most important thing, and yeah, that's that's the way I how I look at it.